the EU. Government has been imposing increasingly strict sanctions on China's chip sector, aiming to curb its technological development and global competitiveness. One of the main targets of these sanctions is SMIC, China's largest contract maker of chips, which has been developing its own 14 nanometers node technology since 2019. The 14 nanometers node is a measure of fabrication complexity that refers to the size of the transistors on a chip. Smaller transistors allow for faster and more efficient chips, which are essential for applications such as artificial intelligence, 5G, and cloud computing. The most advanced chipmakers in the world, such as TSMC and Samsung, are already producing chips using 5 nanometers or even 3 nanometers nodes, while SMIC is still lagging behind at 14 nanometers. However, the U. government does not want SMIC to catch up with its rivals fearing that it could pose a threat to its national security and economic interests. Therefore, it has imposed export control rules that prohibit Chinese semiconductor manufacturers from acquiring instruments and technologies required to produce nonplanar transistor logic chips with dimensions of 14 nanometers per 16 nanometers or less. Nonplanar transistors, also known as FinFETs, are a key innovation that enables higher performance and lower power consumption for chips at smaller nodes. The export control rules also apply to other types of advanced chips, such as 3D NAND chips with 128 or more active layers, and DROM ICs with a half pitch of 18 nanometers or below. These rules affect not only you, suppliers, but also those from other countries that use you, technology or software in their products, for example, ASML, the Dutch company that makes the most advanced lithography machines for chip production, has been unable to ship its EUV equipment to SMIC due to you. Pressure Without access to these critical tools and technologies, SMIC may be unable to continue its 14 nanometers node development and production, let alone move on to more advanced nodes. This could severely hamper its ability to serve its customers especially those who need high-performance chips for their products. For instance, Huawei, one of SMIC's major clients, has been relying on SMIC's 14 nanometers chips for some of its smartphone models after being cut off from TSMC by U. Sanctions The U. Sanctions could also affect SMIC's long-term prospects and ambitions in the global chip market. The company has been investing heavily in research and development hoping to achieve technological breakthroughs and reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. It has also been expanding its production capacity and attracting more customers from various sectors. However, without access to the latest equipment and technology, SMIC may find it hard to compete with its peers and meet the growing demand for chips in China and beyond. The new U.S. sanctions against China's chip sector are a major blow to the country's ambitions of becoming a global leader in semiconductor technology. The sanctions prevent Chinese chipmakers from acquiring the equipment and materials needed to produce advanced chips using 14 nanometers nodes or below, which are essential for applications such as 5G, AI, and cloud computing. The sanctions also affect the wafer fab equipment manufacturers who supply the Chinese market as they lose a significant source of revenue and face increased competition from other regions. One of the main targets of the U.S. sanctions is SMIC, China's largest contract maker of chips and the fifth largest pure play foundry in the world. SMIC has been developing its 14 nanometers and 12 nanometers FinFET technologies since 2019 and has produced chips for customers such as Huawei's high silicon. However, Without access to advanced equipment and spare parts from suppliers like ASML, Applied Materials, KLA, and LAM Research, SMIC may be unable to maintain or improve its production capabilities at these nodes. SMIC has quietly removed 14 nanometers fabrication technology from the list of its services on its website and has not mentioned its progress on its N plus one node, which is equivalent to seven nanometers in terms of performance. The U.S. sanctions will also set back the Chinese semiconductor industry by at least a decade, as they hinder the development of more advanced nodes that require extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography, a technology that only ASML can provide. 
UV lithography is necessary for producing chips at 7 nanometers and below, which are currently dominated by TSMC and Samsung. SMIC has ordered two EUV machines from ASML in 2018, but has not received them due to the U.S. pressure on the Dutch government. Without EUV machines, SMIC will not be able to compete with its rivals in terms of performance, power efficiency, and cost. The U.S. sanctions will also hurt the way for fab equipment manufacturers who have been supplying the Chinese market with tools and materials for chip production. According to SEMI, a global industry association, China accounted for 25% of the global wafer fab equipment spending in 2020 and was expected to grow by 18% in 2021. However, with the new restrictions on exports to China for fabs operating below 14 nanometers, the equipment makers will lose a large portion of their sales and face increased competition from other regions such as Taiwan, Korea, and Europe. The U.S. sanctions may also prompt China to accelerate its efforts to develop its own domestic equipment industry, which could pose a long-term threat to the established players. In summary, the new U.S. sanctions against China's chip sector will have a significant impact on both the Chinese chipmakers and the way for fab equipment manufacturers. The sanctions will prevent China from advancing its semiconductor technology beyond 14 nanometers nodes, which are crucial for modern applications. The sanctions will also reduce the revenue and market share of the equipment makers who have been relying on China as a major customer. The sanctions may ultimately widen the gap between China and its competitors in terms of chip innovation and production.